I am here more to learn from you than teach you. My learning is from the practitioner people. And that what gives me the fodder to write books. They are practical. Practical life is not theoretical. There's a lot of messy things in it. So I like to get more time here to get each other's view, each other's experience, so we learn from each other. But I do have five points for you to consider. And as you take these points, teach your younger people, fresh people coming in, because they will learn from you. At the same time, they are the basics. The first basic, everyone, even a child, has an image. We go to house, sister's house, and we say something about the child. So the point is, what is your image now? And that image on whose mind? In my work, today I'm here. In a week I will be in Accra. A week after I'll be in London. Three weeks later I'll be in Brazil. So when I sit with those people, I say, how do you see Mr. Modi? Their lens is different. When I'm sitting with the Washington people, I say, what do you see Mr. Modi? They have a different view. So the key point is first, who's your central audience? There is no such thing as universal audience. You will have distractors and you will have people who will favor you. But you need to know what is your central audience. And you cannot go on different image to different people. Media is very fast. It will show the inconsistency. And we have to be internally tolerant because we will have criticisms. We're going to be, we absorb that but create that, what is this central audience? And in that audience, what is your consistent, over time, durable approach what you are? The second point, now this is very important. You have to find it. So I have learned from some of you, where you actually go and visit them, see them because they're not going to talk. So this is a critical point. I'm going to nail that down. The second point, you have to be clear who you are. Get that clarity. And you don't need 20 lines for that. I learned this in my work that you know the name is Steve Jobs, the phone, <laughs> rule of three. I see that in some of these very, very, very accomplished CEOs in the world. They have a rule of three. Three most important things. Three most characteristics, most important. Uh, three <clears throat> most important priorities. They account 70, 80%. So think about who you really are and what gives you durable consistency over time. Now here, I have a view. I, that view come from learning from you. Do you connect with your audience? Connecting is communication. Communication alone is not enough. It is connecting. And in that connecting, how does it engender trust that you can be trusted to what you say? Because in the event of social media today, any discrepancy of your authenticity is going to be captured in no time. So that's my second point. To really consider, I have a belief that you can have a buddy, two or three buddies who will tell you the truth, who see you that way. And you figure this out, who you really are, what you really cherish, what you're very good at, how do you connect? 
and that connection, the most precious thing that you are trusted. Don't ever lose that precious thing. Number three. Number three, sometimes a human being is judged by the company that person keeps. If I'm in a, a, a society of five people, and of those five people, three are not trusted, one is not trusted, you count on it, I have a problem. So select the society you are in, society you nurture, because that society you in, people around you, you're trustworthy, they enhance your image or they can have the negative image on it. And so watch that, work that, work this one through. That's my point number three. Point number four is something that I believe and I see that in my work for the CEOs. It may not be applying in the Janta situation. And that is, we can never be obsolete when it comes to knowledge. In your profession, you have knowledge also. In my profession, there's a knowledge also. There's an external trend in my profession as in yours. So for you to lead, you need to have a way what is coming, what is new, where do I stand, where do I articulate, where do I reach my central audience? You are all, by definition, leaders. You may not be a leader in the internal hierarchy, but in front of the janta, you are a leader, collectively, individually. Knowledgeable leader. Knowledgeable leader. And you got to know what's happening on the outside. Figure out a way, and there will be then gems or issues and things. You take a lead on those that fits with your, with your persona, with your authenticity. And the, a minor point, but I've seen it. In my work, it may not be true for you, but I do for every CEO. What is the support staff? In the CEO game, a support staff can constrict the capacity of the CEO. A support staff can expand the capacity. I would imagine the same thing, because you are a leader, you have janta, you know what I mean, and that you have to do too many things. In mostly in the public life, as far as I've been told, learned, there will be a lot of demands on you from different constituencies, different ways. So it's a minor point, but do consider your support staff. How good it is, how clear it is, how they perform. They can do a lot of things for your image. So I can tell you my experience. So I had to take some tests and I go to some of the world's best clinics. Many of you heard of Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic, and so on. So somebody asked me to go to another clinic in Denver. And I went in there, and I said, this is the best clinic I've seen on planet. Why? The support staff was the best. And very efficiently organized. So while it looks like a simple stuff, a minor stuff, but your staff is a reflection of your image. So do consider that. So I just want to say these five points. We'll pick up some more as I learn what's happening and take you, take you through that. <laughs>